this patient was referred to me three years ago. So in 2020 for endodontic treatment of tooth number 14. As you can see, large decay into the pulp, irreversible pulpitis. And here's the date. And this is immediately after we did the root canal on tooth number 14, three years ago, as you can see. Everything went beautifully. Look at that nice bifurcation. Removed the decay, rebuilt the missing walls, and as you can see, did the root canal. What happened here? Well, I overextended my gutta percha. Was I worried? I wasn't worried. Some of you guys, some of you guys who don't use the rubber dam and don't follow the fundamentals of endodontics should be worried. But I wasn't worried because I was following the fundamentals of endodontics. And things like that can happen once in a while. If you do root canals, we try, we strive for perfection. But as you all know, there's no such thing. And sometimes, sometimes things like that can happen. But this is rubber. Rubber. You understand? Rubber is benign. A little over-extrusion, over a little extrusion of gutta percha and sealer will not be harmful. This root canal would not fail just because my gutta percha is overextended. The root canal will fail if... I don't use a rubber dam and I introduce saliva and bacteria from the patient's mouth inside of this tooth. Okay, so so I was I was not worried. I was not worried about about this uh, overextended gutta percha there. And again, that was three years ago. And here's the date. And this was yesterday. Three years post op of tooth number 14. Patient came to see me for a different tooth. And we always take radiographs of the teeth that we had done root canals on. And as you can see, tooth is doing beautifully. Patient is asymptomatic, tooth is in full function. And look what happened there. Nothing. Nothing. Excellent. So to those who think that a little overextension, extrusion of gutta percha and sealer can cause a root canal failure, well, Time and time again, I have shown you that you're wrong. What causes endodontic failure is microorganisms within the canals, bacteria within the canals. Overextended gutta percha, sealer puff, overextended gutta percha, um, a sealer extrusion, none of that stuff will cause endodontic failure. Microorganisms are usually the cause of endodontic failure. And here's the date. Three years post-op of tooth number 14. And... There you go.